Ты что не помнишь, где ты заезжал на них? Ну и вон. А я врыло не ебал, да? Весь водовоз нахуй. Говно. Весь водовоз нахуй. Говно. Experts and analysts admit that the breakthrough of the border with the Russian Federation by the Ukrainian armed forces has not yet had an impact on the operational level of the Russian Ministry of Defense, nor has it changed the strategic level of Putin's thinking. The Russian leader still refuses to sit down at the negotiating table. Moreover, he is confident that he will be able to wait out the West and seize Ukraine step by step, year by year. Analysts from the Institute for the Study of War voiced their opinion on the events in Kursk and Putin's reaction. Analysts initially emphasized that at this stage it is still too early to talk about the pros and cons of the Ukrainian armed forces breaking through the border with the Russian Federation. In 2022, Kyiv clearly showed the whole world that it can carry out brilliant operations against the Russian Federation when it counter-attacked the enemy in the Kharkiv region and liberated Kherson. Ukraine has demonstrated its ability to conduct operationally significant counter-offensive operations and liberate large swathes of territory with proper assistance and equipment from the West. At the same time, the whole world also saw what kind of disasters these very delays in military aid lead to when, in February 2024, the Ukrainian armed forces retreated from Avdiivka. The ISW states that only constant and timely military assistance from the West will allow the Ukrainian armed forces not only to defend themselves, but also to conduct a counter-offensive. The Kremlin will continue its genocidal policy towards Ukraine until it faces major setbacks on the battlefield. The Kremlin has spent years denying the existence of the Ukrainian nation. These efforts have consequences. That is why Russian officials talk only of Kyiv's capitulation, not peace talks. However, a ceasefire on today's borders and under today's circumstances only benefits the Kremlin. The Ukrainian invasion of Kursk, however, underscored that the war in Ukraine is not in an indefinite stalemate and showed that Ukraine, Russia and the West retain the ability to make decisions that significantly affect the current realities of the battlefield and the future end state of the war.